Hey y'all, welcome back to Summertime Tarot. If you're new to the channel, my name is Summer, and this here is a money and career reading for Sun, Moon, Rising, Sign, Sagittarius. All right, for April into May, or whenever you come across this reading. All right, but as a reminder, these are general readings, so they may not resonate with each and every one of you. If it doesn't resonate, be sure to check out the readings for your moon, your rising sign, or any other sign you feel called to watch in your birth chart. All right, but also, you know, if you're interested in a personal reading, be sure to check out the description box below for the link to summertimetarot.com. All right, but let's get into it. Let's see what's going on here with you, Sagittarius. getting like some of you may be like really kind of like worn out or just feeling a lot of pressure at this time but let's let's get the other cards out and see what's going on here So bottom of the deck here we have royalty, authority, business, rule, respected, inheritance, bloodline, leadership, as well as the four of swords under that, the page of wands. Okay, but let's see here. second look at the cards So I feel like some of you here may be kind of overwhelmed by like um, responsibilities, the things that you need to do for like your own stability, security, also maybe like um, taking care of your family, right? And you may like really be like needing more money or needing um Help, kind of feeling a bit lost feeling like you don't know which way to go or what to do but you like you just yeah like very overwhelmed here 
I feel like both when it comes to work and money and career, but also maybe like with home life here, right? It makes me think of like, you know, the saying, if it ain't one thing, it's another. Like that, it gives me that vibe. Some of you could even be like kind of be a bit short tempered or like just got a lot going on emotionally and mentally here. I feel like it's, a, it's really a need to really connect, reconnect with yourself, right? With this Four of Swords. It's like you need to, like, really rest. Yeah. And to really spend time just kind of decompressing, right? With this Bush Shaman, I feel like you may, it may be good to kind of get out in nature to clear your mind. Um, like, making that a priority for yourself. Right, so you're not kind of like running yourself rabbit, is that the saying? Or like kind of running yourself into the ground. Yeah, because I feel like your focus may be so much on like money and like your responsibilities, everything you need to take care of that is starting to overwhelm you and it may be affecting how you're showing up both at work but also at home. And I feel like, right, I could be wrong, but I feel like that's not really how you want to be. You don't want to be kind of, like, reactive or, like, so overwhelmed that you may be kind of taking it out on other people or just kind of lost in the sauce. So make sure that you're making time for rest, um, self-love, self-care. Because I feel like with being so overwhelmed with all of these things is making it hard for you to kind of see, to see your way forward or to feel your way forward. And I feel like, you know, it may just be time for you here to really... To really be aware of your feelings, to be aware of your emotions, but also to make sure that you're making time to kind of release them, to, you know, cleanse yourself, to heal yourself, um, right? Connecting with rituals that help you to, to feel your best, right? And then if it's, you know, if you are, like, experiencing... Um, maybe like hardships when it comes to money it may be time for you to really kind of you know sit down um connect with your spiritual team um maybe do some rituals but also also you know ask for help ask for assistance not just from the spiritual team you know your spiritual team but from like people around you right because i feel like here with this ten of coins you have people around you that you know that's your support system you have resources but it's like you may not be connecting with them or um, open to receiving that help and it's time that you are right for some of you it may be time for you to kind of like maybe um go back to school or or kind of learn a new trade or something Okay, but let's let's get some more cards here. What did I sneeze? <laughs> mm, excuse me. Ooh, ooh, I did not know it was this one here. Yeah, I feel like 
you know, you could be like stressing yourself out here. Really worrying about things. And it's just time to kind of take things step by step, right? Don't kind of overwhelm or overwork yourself. Just kind of like easy does it, right? Focus only on the things that are within your control, right? And let go of the rest, right? It's kind of like time for you to really trust that, you know, things things will get better, right? And I know, you know, that's kind of cliched and everything, but it's like worrying and like stressing yourself out isn't going to help the situation it can only really kind of make it harder for you right yeah and some of you it may be time for you to really kind of lean on your partner here right if you are in a um, romantic relationship it may be time for you to kind of like lean on and open up to your partner about what's going on with you not be afraid to do that right it doesn't make you weak it doesn't make you like you know any less of who you are but like it's time for you to open up and not be afraid to kind of you know share that weight if you are in a relationship right you don't have to like carry all of this weight on your shoulders Right, and if not, you know, it may be time for you to kind of get into counseling, um, or just you know, even journaling, just finding some kind of way that is beneficial for you to get those emotions out, um, so that you can free up your mind, right, to kind of see things more clearly, right? Because when all of your emotions are kind of still in you and like all in your heart and all in your mind it's hard for you to see clearly or to be open to um, opportunities and things that are beneficial okay but let's see what opportunities are coming your way as well as any advice So I feel like your advice here, right, we have gift and pathway. It's like time for you to be open to receiving, but also open to kind of doing things differently. Be open to um, a new way of seeing things, a new way of being, right? Um, that's like opening up, expressing yourself, asking for help, and being open to receiving it, right? You don't have to do everything by yourself. Um, so trust that, believe that, okay? But let's look here at the opportunities coming in here. Right, some of you here, okay, like some of you here could be expecting a, a baby. That may, <laughs> that may be why, like you're you're a bit stressed out. Um, but for others of you, I feel like there may be an opportunity coming in for you, something new, like a new job opportunity that um, may be unexpected here, and it may kind of take. Um, you may have to like travel for it or like um yeah travel basically yeah i feel i almost kind of get the vibe like somebody may like proposition you like hey man 
I got this thing going <laughs> I got this thing going on and I kind of want you to help me or I think you would be a good fit that kind of thing that's really what I'm getting here but you may be like you may you may be questioning it Yeah, you may be like a little bit suspect. Right? And with the advice being here, this gift and this pathway, I feel like it's like a need to be open, right? I'm not saying like don't like do your research, but like be open, right? If you feel like, hmm, I don't know, maybe it may be time for you to, you know, do some research to figure out if it's a good fit, you know, that kind of thing. Right? But don't completely close it off or close your mind to it. Because I feel like it may it may actually lead to something that may help you in some way, right? It may not be the opportunity, you know, for some of you, it may not be the opportunity for you or it may not be a good fit, but being open to it may actually lead you to something better, right? And for those of you here um, who may be expecting a baby here, right, um, don't, st <laughs> don't stress out, right? Right, it may be somebody here, like close to you, who may um, who may just have like some advice for you, right? It may just be time for you to kind of open up to someone close to you about how, you know what it is you're going through, how it is you're feeling, and they can really offer you advice on like your next steps about what to do, right? So that's why I feel like your advice here is to stay open, right? Because I feel like they may this person, right, may lead you to you know something right with this unexpected income that will be able to kind of shift and change things around for you so be open start you know expressing yourself to people that you value that you trust their opinion you feel what i'm saying all right ask for help all right also for those of you who are like in a relationship right don't be afraid to kind of you know speak to your partner to talk to them about what you're going through right they can also help you feel what i'm saying but that's all i have for you sagittarius hopefully this helped you in some way if it did be sure to give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already i truly appreciate you and hope to see you soon peace out